Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Grace and I'm a pediatric hematologist. I know you've talked at home or with your doctors about pyruvic kinase deficiency before. I thought we could talk a little bit about it today too. This picture is a cartoon of the circulatory system, which shows how your blood flows around inside your blood vessels in your body. There are so many highways and small roads of blood vessels for your blood to travel. The cars on these highways are your red blood cells, which are the circle-shaped cells shown here. Red blood cells travel around your body many, many times every day. Red blood cells have an important role in the body to bring oxygen everywhere it's needed, including to your brain and your muscles. The red cells get oxygen that you breathe in from your lungs and then send it out through the circulatory roads in your body, and then the red cells come back to the lungs to get more oxygen. Red blood cells have a very special shape that looks like a squished circle almost like a donut, but the hole doesn't go all the way through the middle. This shape is special because it helps red cells squish through the very small roads in the body without the red cells being injured. Red cells can stay in this shape by using energy. The red cells get almost all of their energy from sugar or glucose. Pyruvic kinase helps the red cells turn, turn sugar into energy. When there is enough pyruvic kinase, red cells have all the energy they need to last for three months. Red cells are made inside our bones with all the other blood cells. When pyruvic kinase levels are normal, red cells start with a full battery of energy and can circulate to carry oxygen to the body. Red cells travel the body many times every day and if they have enough energy, maintain their shape and can last from September to October to November. After three months, the energy gets low in the red cells and it breaks apart. This is at a very slow rate after three months if the pyruvic kinase levels are normal. With pyruvic kinase deficiency, the cell doesn't have enough energy and starts with an almost empty battery. Because of this, the cell can't stay in its special shape and then has a harder time circulating through the body. The battery in pyruvic kinase deficient red cell runs out quickly, and the red cells break apart in just a few days or weeks, rather than three months. What does this mean for people who have pyruvic kinase deficiency? Well, it's different for everyone. Kids with pyruvic kinase deficiency can do everything that other kids can do, like go to school, participate in activities, play with friends, and participate in sports. But it may mean that sometimes things come up that don't come up for other kids. These are things like having a low energy level, or having jaundice with yellow eyes or skin, or having stomach aches or other types of discomfort. Having pyruvate kinase deficiency can seem unfair and random. Everyone has to handle something, but this may feel harder than what you see your friends and other family members dealing with. We all want to fit in, and sometimes it's hard to feel different. It may be too that some days it's easier to feel okay about things than others. Everyone has some days that are easier than others to feel different. But remember though, you're not alone. Talking with friends and family and understanding adults about how you're feeling can help you to feel better. Today at the Thrive Conference is also a great day to talk with other kids who may be going through similar things. Your feelings matter, and it's normal to feel angry or sad or even scared when pyruvic kinase deficiency or its treatments get in the way. There are things that other kids have done that sometimes help them to feel better. Those are things like starting a gratitude or a feelings journal, where helping you to write down or drawing how you're feeling can help you to feel better. Sometimes too, shifting your thoughts can have a positive impact. At least some of the time, it's helpful to focus on what your body does well and the things that make you feel happy. Sometimes it's helpful to take a mini vacation by reading a good book or seeing an interesting movie. Some people like to take a walk in nature or to sing and dance, or to play sports or exercise with friends. It's important to take control when you can. 
It's important to learn relaxation strategies that work well for you. Do you like laughing with your family or friends? Do you enjoy exercising? Do you think it's fun to make funny faces? These can all be wonderful stress releasers in times of higher stress. It's important to take control when you can and to share your feelings and ask for help when you need it. Your doctor and your medical team is also there for you. I hope you all have a great time in Florida and enjoy your time at the Thrive meeting. Bye-bye.